Hi everyone, I'm Sydney. I'm an Ignite Studio Assistant and today I am here to show you all about our acrylic paint kit. This is our acrylic paint kit that you can find in our kit library. Um, inside you'll find all the materials you need to do an acrylic painting. We have in here masking tape, a paint palette, a rag to help you clean up, we have a folder of mixed media paper, which is appropriate for usage with painting. We have a book that'll go a little bit more in depth about acrylic painting techniques. We have four different kits and four different books, so there's a lot to learn out there. A variety of brushes, a palette knife, and of course, our acrylic paints. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, also how to mix colors with how to mix acrylic paints with a palette knife and also different techniques of applying acrylic paint to the paper. Um, as you can see over here, I have some cups of water sitting here. Acrylic paint is really thick and really glossy, so it needs a mixing media before you put the paint onto the paper. Um, the mixing media you can buy at stores. Some will make the paint more matte. Some will make it more glossy. Some will make it more pliable or less pliable. Um, you can uh, have all kinds of different effects with mixing media. Um, but water also works just fine. It'll make acrylic paint act a little bit more like watercolors. So it'll be more transparent, less opaque, um, and a little bit easier to work with than um, if we didn't mix any water with it, where it, then it would be very gloopy and um, hard to get fine lines on. So I have two cups of water. One is for warm colors, one's for cool colors. We'll just keep those separate so that we can, um, don't have, so that we don't have to have brown water because um, that might affect the color of our paint. As you can see over here, I have a clipboard that I got from Ignite's kit library. Um, and I've taped a piece of the mixed media paper down using the masking tape that was in the kit. Taping the paper down is important because it'll keep the paper from curling up or buckling underneath the weight of the paint and the water. It'll also give you this really nice clean white border around the edges. So today we're going to mix some paint using the palette knife. Um, you can use the, the center of this palette um, to mix your colors if you want. Personally, I like using um, this big foam tray because it gives me more area. And then when I'm done, I just scrape up the paint and put it into the appropriate well. Um, I'm gonna use a palette knife to mix my colors. So if I wanna make an orange, I'm gonna grab a lot of yellow and then wipe off my knife on this rag and then grab just a little bit of red. Red is the darker color, so we don't need as much of it. Alrighty. I'd say that's orange. So I'm going to scrape it all up. And then I'm going to move it into my paint palette. Alrighty. And then I'll wipe off my paint palette, or my, I'm sorry, my palette knife. And we can carry on. So in this next part, I'm just gonna set my mixing tray aside and then just use my paint that I've already pre-mixed. I'll show you um, what different brushes can do and what palette knives can do, and then some different ways of applying paint to the paper. Um, so we have a variety of different brushes. As you can see, this is a big flat square one and then a small rounded one with some bristly edges. Um, the diff types of brushes you use and the types of palette knives um, is all going to depend on personal preference. So feel free to be creative and explore a little bit while you're here at Ignite to figure out what you really like. I'm going to take that orange color and uh, I'm going to dip my paintbrush into the water first and then mix it with that paint that I just made, that orange color. You don't need to dump your mixing media into your um, paint. That'll make it too watery and not usable. So just by dipping your brush into your water cup, your bristle hairs will pick up enough water, will absorb enough water, the perfect amount of water for your paint. So I've mixed that in. And then to demonstrate the types of brush strokes you can make with this brush, you can do a really, if I put a lot of pressure on it, 
You can make this big flat stroke with the rounded edge right here, or you can make a really thin line using just the tip, depending on how you hold the brush. You can use this big flat brush to cover big swaths of area at a time. I'm going to go ahead and put some water into that brush, pick up a little bit of paint, and then do the same thing I did before. So you can see that this brush is a lot better at filling out big washes of area, or you can get a pretty fine line with it. I also like using palette knives to apply my paint to the paper. Doing whole paintings in palette knives is a really great exercise in composition and color mixing and learning value. So um, I do recommend that if you're looking for a challenge. But I'll go ahead and use the edge of it, pick up some of that orange color and apply it and then use the edge of the palette knife and the bottom of it to really smooth that out to get even full coverage on my page. Just like ice in a cake. And then we have a big orange block. So that is the different, those are all the different tools that you can use to apply um, paint to your paper. Of course, the palette knives come in all kinds of different shapes. This one's kind of shaped like a butter knife. This one has a big flat edge that you could use to do a lot of different textures. Um, so it just depends on you experimenting to find out what kind of mark making you like to make in your paintings. Um, I will also show you some different techniques of applying paint to the paper. So like I said before, you should mix some, a little bit of water in with your paint before you do any of this. But you could also go ahead and throw some water down just from my cup, straight from my cup. Pick up some blue color, and we'll put that down in that area that I made wet earlier. So as you can see, it kind of bleeds out, but it stays within that wet spot that I made earlier. And this way you can get a big, even area. Well, the color remains pretty opaque. You can also just, with the wet brush, dip it in the, dip it in the water, dip it in the color, and then just apply it like that. As you can see, you see a little bit more of your brush strokes, a little bit more of your mark making in that. So it just depends on what you want. Alrighty, I think that is all of the techniques that I have to show you about acrylic painting, about how to get started with acrylics and, and the brushes and the palette knives. Um, I, there's a lot more to explore with acrylic paints, so we hope to see you in here making sometime soon. Thank you guys for watching.